Installing. Please stand by. All right. Oh, man. Who is it going to be, boys? Who is it going to be? Who is going to win this season? I am fucking curious. Let's see how these boys did. We're going straight into an allied mirror. Goat starting in the top left, playing as Germany. And so is Bane starting in the bottom right. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter to you too, to you too man. Are you doing something special with family? Me, we're just, I'm probably just going over to my uh, parents-in-law, like, surely what we do every year. Just have brunch. Or dinner. I can't remember. But it's 100% on Sunday. Alright. And they're playing on map Timian. Favorite? Well, it's one of my favorites. Gets picked a lot. And we're going to see some double ref action from these both players. Cody's arriving just a little bit later here because of the engineer. He is sending his engineer straight to the natural oil. Ben is not going to do that yet. It seems like he's just going to hold on. Oh no, there it is. It's going for the middle oil first. That's interesting. So in terms of eco, this is going to give go just a little bit more assets and maybe even make a couple of extra rifles but it seems like he's going to invest those extra rifles or assets into a pillbox for now doesn't really trust Bane here or he just wants to play safe never mind he already sold it but I can understand why he would go for that there might be cheese here players are going for more cheese in Raggle than in any other sort of competition or whatnot so it is pretty common wow seems like players are going for the same compositions here a couple of medics early on both having rocket soldiers ready for the appearance of the light vehicle and nothing special so far just killing each other out both going for three medics in total, I think. Which is really strong early on. There's Bane securing the natural for now. And in terms of macro, they're pretty even. Both going for the light tank. Bane was going for the ranger first, but he's going for the light tank now as well. I think that's a good call. Um, I haven't seen a lot of games where Goat doesn't go for the light tank early on as a first vehicle. Oh. Not the worst choice to go for a light tank as well as your best counter. All right, there's Bane on the move out. There's Goat as well. Bane here with a nice scout in the middle. He's going to see where Goat's army is. And he should be on time to clean up that oil. Timian is one of the fewer maps that has already damaged oils on the field. So it doesn't take that long to take that out. And Bane just took that out for free. And Goat wanted to change, but he changed his mind. That's a good call. He knows that Bane is out of position to defend his own oil as well. He has the second light vehicle coming out. So he can do some nice scouting to make sure that he doesn't get harassed when he's going for the oil. There's the setting up the position, as you can see, with the army and the light tank in front. And the scout having an interaction with one of the locals. Seems like Bane is going to give up his map control for now and use his main army, his double ref army, to probably deal some damage along the eco lines. But Goat is aware where the army is, sorta. He knows that this army left in that direction. So he's going to look for that with the ranger. That's a good call. He's also moving his army a little bit closer. Yeah, and I think I think Go doesn't have an idea where it is. I think he lost it. 
isn't entirely sure. There's Bane going for the setup. Is he going for the oil? That's interesting. Yeah, he is. Wow. That's interesting. So it's a giveaway for sure. A free giveaway. Not sure he will be able to do a lot of damage here. There's the pillbox and the light tank is out of range here to defend his army. So the army is going to retreat and it's going to run straight into the army from GOAT. For sure. Although I don't think this army from... From Bane here is going to trade badly in this situation. Wow. And he... Uh, brought the light tank safely back as well. That's pretty good. He did some... Uh, some ref blocking there, that's nice. Meanwhile, Goat is trying to... Oh, nicely fired at the barrels with focus fire. Kill the infantry there. And keeping Bane at bay here for now. That's nicely done. Even though he took some unfavorable traits there, like I said. Mainly the medics did it. And the fact that Goat was engaging so Bane had some sort of defender's advantage. There's the main MCV move out from Bane already, that's a good choice. He wanted to have that offensive position, but it only has one mine. So you are going to need more eco. So that's a good idea from Bane. And he's trying to secure that position early on. There's Bane trying to feel it out, but I feel Goat has more than enough to deal some decent damage here. Bane is trying to feel it out, but yeah. He immediately retreats after realizing that his tank was pretty much melting. And he's going to also send it back to the SD. I like that. It's nice to see a lot more players trying to preserve their units. Alright, this is going to be a huge engagement here. Bane is going to put his tanks in front. Oh no, he's, just, he's not going well. He's focusing attention to the little force on the left here. But the main army from GOAT is actually doing the cleanup and the small army is now providing the vision. And that was nice microing from GOAT. And that's a huge deal. Let's switch over to the combat tab. Yeah, but that's going to give him just that small advantage in terms of trades. And there's Bane with the base push. Without any backup though. Can he... Pull it off is the question. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I am live streaming every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. UTC. So if you want to hang out and play some games with me, I would love to see you over at Twitch. Ooh, yep. Oh, oh dear God. Almost a bait MCV. Oh, I'm surprised Bane actually didn't go for the cleanup here. Okay, he's going for it now. Meanwhile, Bane had to retreat here. That was to be expected. But Bane does have a Raxi, but he, need, well, he also needs to keep this position safe because this is his natural expansion with double mines here and three harvesters at work. So that eco is what keeps him alive right now. Alright, meanwhile Bane did a nice split here to take care of this army and try and secure this position. And he was trying to do the same on the other side, but Goat is going to claim that for now. Luckily he still has his MTV, but he has to put up a defensive fortification here if he wants to keep this safe. Because he's betting everything on this army for now. He's going to try and eco harass, but Goat with the awareness immediately retreating after just one rifle shot at the harvester and immediately has a defensive force sitting ready but well, Bane is going in though he's committing and his tanks are not going to hold any longer and there's Goat now going in once all the tanks from Bane are down he's moving his tanks forward and going for that cleanup and he's trading a little bit worse in the end but even though that was a good defense and meanwhile he is pushing on the right side let's see if Bane has enough to deal with this more powers have been going down Bane had to reposition for the fourth time and hasn't been able to put up a solid expansion here. 
Maybe he moved out a little bit too soon. And I, but I think he should be good for now. Yo, Duppin. There's something in Bane's main. Oh my god, Bane did send an army over there to deal with that. But he hasn't... He hasn't chased it any further. And now this army is doing so much damage. Holy shit, it has cleaned up so much already. Oh, Bane is in trouble all of a sudden. We'd almost doubled the army value here. Goat is pressuring from the middle in his main on his expansion from both sides. And all of his harvesters are pretty much not working except for this expansion. But he's in trouble. Just sold his rough. And there's a GG. And game number one is going to go after a solid 10 minute performance. Jesus. What a game so far. It was over pretty quick, but we saw some nice micro plays there. Especially that one engagement is what turned it around. Turned it went into Ghost's favor from there. And he just snowballed. Alright. That was good game number one, boys. Holy shit. Something blue, I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw immediately one minute. I was like, hmm. I see a blue spot. Battle control terminated. Alright, game number two is on Annihilate. I'm assuming this is Bane's pick. Since I'm assuming it's loser's pick from here. But we have... Ooh, not an allied mirror match this time. Compared to the semi-finals between uh, Bane and Ups. We're all allied mirror matches. But now we have Goat starting in the bottom left. Is up 1-0 right now. And he's playing as Ukraine. And we have his opponent, Mr. Bane. Playing as France in the top right. So we have the map pick and I laid here from Bane's pretty aggressive map early on. Lots of micro uh, can be played here, and there's four oils on the map, so having winning the early game definitely provides you with a big advantage. Can Bane do it this time? Gold was pretty solid that first game. And so was Bane, actually. I think he just expanded a little bit too fast with the main MCV uh, before he had actually had a decent expansion there with some static defenses. So, so he could keep that safe while his army was away. But fortunately, that didn't work. He got pushed off and had to forfeit the first match. There's Bane keeping it defensive for now. There's Go trying to feel it out on the right side of the oil. Both players are just going to play it safe here for now. Interesting setup from Go. I like the, this setup from Bane here. Bane, the formation from Bane shows that he's just a little bit more paranoid about getting his engineer sniped compared to Goat. Not sure what Goat is doing actually. He's doing some stuff. Okay, there he is. Finally capping the O. As you can see, not sure why he, f uh, what he was doing, but. Don't think it's going to matter that much. Yeah, actually, I believe. Bane is up 100 extra assets because of that. It's not a huge deal, but something to take into consideration. And there's the move out onto the right oil here for Bane. Just going to play it safe, get his own natural oils. Don't do anything ris risky. I like this War Factory placement from, uh, from Bane. I'm assuming it's more of an offensive position, because considering normally you place the War Factory on your double mine patch so that you're Harvesters can quickly go and do their job. Ooh, almost got sniped here, it seems. But I... Oh, well, I don't really get why he placed the light tank there. But I'm assuming he placed the, whip, the uh, war factory there just for having the road. So that his MCV can quickly go over and deploy over here. Yeah, there's Bane with the scout trying to feel out where the oil is. Or where the army is from GOAT. He doesn't want to take that risk, it seems. Goat went for the APC. So, both players have a decent soaking unit, although APC is a little bit stronger. 
But there's Goat taking the initiative. He's going to be offensive this time, and he's going to try and take out Bane's oil here. Bane is about to get ready. Not sure he will make it in time, though. Lots of hesitation, it seems. Doesn't want to really go for it. And there's that singular rifle trying to see where Bane's army is, and he finds it. But I think Goat has enough time. Yep. And he's setting up his formation. He knows that Bane wants to go for it. And he does. Oh, oh, I was about to say, Goat didn't really have his rocket support. But he remembered it in time. And because he had four, he instantly destroyed that light tank. And now he has a big advantage with no soaking unit for Bane. Almost lost his entire army there. Was able to take out the APC, but the damage has already been done. Bane lost an oil and a decent chunk of his army. Goat is looking good, and he's going to move back and defend his MCV that is going to arrive anytime soon. And take this small win. Yo, Gorman, welcome, man. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You're just in time to meet your colleague. Well, your master colleague, I guess. Alright, there's the main MCV. Second MCV from GOAT. It's going to take this position, obviously. It's a good position to take, it's your natural expansion. And even though the War Factory placement from Bane suggested to me that he was going to be offensive and go for this position, but uh, nope. Just going to take his natural expansion first. Go to with a nice cheeky scout already. Ooh, talking about sneaky. Engie from Bane here. And he also scouts the MCV, but I don't think he's going to respond with trying to capture that. We'll have to wait and see. He's falling behind a little bit here. Ooh, ooh, that's that was probably not the right decision to make, but Bane accidentally moved both MCVs at the same time, so he lost his building production. Like I said, I think Bane is probably being a little bit too too greedy here. But if he can fortify, unlike last time, he should be good. He's also starting to reinforce over here. Just in case. Smart from Goda, I like this. He's setting up Arax preemptively before occupying this position, just so we can get some unit production here with a flame tower. So this position will be a little bit harder to take from Bane than normally. Oh dear god, that's unfortunate. The engineer served no purpose. Seems like Bane is going to claim this position for now. And Gold is just going to work on his eco first. Get two refs down on two double mine patches is pretty good. So he should be good for uh, a long duration of the game here. Pretty interesting position with the MCV as well. He's still able to play static defenses on both rifts in case of a flank. And he can still fortify this patch over here to, to deny Bane with a Tesla coil in the front. I like it. Ooh, and this could be dangerous for Bane. There's not a lot of scouts here on the flanks. And Goat is going to go along the side of the map here. Meanwhile, he's causing some havoc on the right side of the map, killing the oil for free. There's Bane trying to retaliate, will he make it? The tank from Goat is not in the best position here. There's Bane trying to be aggressive as well, but he's leaving a lot behind here. There's Goat going onto the eco line, which is a very important eco. for Bane and he could be caught off guard here and Goat has a feeling he has been reinforcing redirecting his production to the main base and he should be good I think I'm not entirely sure there is Goat going on to the expansion 
and he will immediately get three harvesters and a very crucial ref that M that Bane has to move an MCV over to if he wants to reclaim that. Meanwhile, the attack from Bane didn't work out as planned, and there's Goat just building a radar dome. So we're at minute eight here, just as the build order from the academy is about to end. In terms of yeah, uh, we've given you everything you need. Just do whatever the fuck you want. And there's a radar dome straight away. Bane is going to merge armies here. Can he do it? Let's switch over to the combat tab. It's still fairly even with a small advantage for Goat. There is Goat sending in that army from the eco lines onto the main from Bane. But I think Bane should be good here. How is Bane doing on the other side though? He's launching his attack. Can he do it? Harvester from Goat going down, and I think he's going to take that as a win, but Goat is trying to seal him in with these tanks. What a nice position. Bane was trying to move out with attack move, and with the V2 support, he just cleans that up like a boss. Solid defense here. Meanwhile, Bane has done pretty much the same on the other side in his own main. And Bane is calling the GG regardless. He felt... He felt that he was falling behind way too much in order to come back and he's just going to forfeit the second game here. Game number two has concluded. Let's go over to game number three and potentially match point for GOAT because it is a best of five. And GOAT has already two victories under his belt. Big boy caution with the big arms. Man, I'll oh, stop it, you. Stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> Anyways. Battle control initialized. Game number three, fellas, on dark side aftermath. Goat starting on the left side, once again playing as Ukraine. And Mr. Bane starting in the right side of the map. Let's see if Bane can bring this back all the way to the equalizer to give us one exciting big final game in the end. Goat so far with an amazing performance in actually both of those games. And Bane in terms of macro really solid, but has been taking poor engagements or yeah, just been overwhelmed by Goat here at the moment. Let's see if he can turn it around. Interesting position. Pretty similar from both players here, actually. Go immediately responding. Doesn't want to give Bane the chance to group up here with all these rifles, because Goat has that advantage going for him. So he is forcing Bane out of there. So let's see how this is going to go down. Oh, interesting. Yep, both players going for the oils first. Twenty rifles from Goat here, pretty big investment. So he's going to delay his rockets a bit, which he can obviously do, because Bane is going for double ref here as well. Ooh, cheeky here. How is this going to go down? This is going to be very dangerous. I'm surprised. Bane isn't using uh, force fire here. There's Bane trying to go around here, trying to catch an engineer off guard from Goat. But the engineer from Goat is way over there. yet so far. Bane's light tank is going to come out a couple of seconds earlier. There's the APC. 
This is going to be very crucial for these players here. Bane is actually capitalizing off the vision with the light tank. One of his medics dies though. Oh, God is trying to go for the crushes and he actually scatters the rocket soldiers. Oh man, that was a pretty crucial crush from Goat. Even he crushed two rocket soldiers and he forced the other two rocket soldiers to evade and prone out of there. But because of that, the APC was able to provide much more soaking time for Goat instead of Bane. And Goat was able to clean it up and is now immediately going to capitalize and going to clean up Bane's oil. Once again, very nice micro here, even though Bane had the advantage in the beginning of the engagement. Oh no! What? This is an upset! We can do a rematch later? Wait, wait, what's going on? What happened? Was this just... Was this an April Fool's joke? Or is this real? Is this real life? Um, well, that's a surprise, but unfortunately, Bane forf forfeited. It seems like he didn't play the games on his own computer, from what I understood. But ladies and gentlemen, it seems that if this is official, and I hope it is, but it seems like Mr. Goat is going to be for a second time in a row the Ragnall champion. Now, currently of Season 9 and Season 10, I believe. I'm not sure. Well, I wasn't there before. Maybe he has won more in the past, but I don't really know that. Um, but I also don't think that he lost a single game during this season. Let me have a quick look at that. Okay, so he won all of his matches during the playoffs. 14 out of 14. And let's go over at the... I don't fucking believe it. I don't fucking believe it. This guy has won every single game in Raggle. From playoffs and pools. Everyone. Two zeros, three zeros. Yeet him out of here. What a performance, man. Holy shit. There were only three games played, obviously. But I didn't want to spoil... I didn't watch the matches beforehand, but I also didn't want to spoil. Because um, I didn't look who won, right? So I just included two other games and I just renamed them just for you guys. That the result wasn't spoiled. Goat versus Cav. Man... Alright. Alright. Goat. Cav. Especially you, Goat. I know you watch my streams. We need this to happen. Alright? For the sake of the community. The community needs to know who is the who has the biggest dick of open RA. Is it Goat? Or Cav? Or is that even relevant now that Mr. Sup has kicked Calf of the number one position in ladder, boys? Maybe we should have Goat versus Sup, because I don't think that has ha has ever happened before, at least not that I know. But like I said, if you boys are watching this, we want to see this happen. We want to see this, and I want you to inform me, and I'm gonna cast the shit out of that when it happens. But that should be fucking amazing. Man, don't don't be so negative like that, man. Don't don't be so negative like that. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, that's a good yeah. Okay, okay, you got me you got me there, Moods. You got me there. Nice. I can't say anything about that because I don't know if it's true or not. We don't know. It's a one huge conspiracy. Fuck me. Anyways. Alright boys. I have two suggestions. That we can do. One. We can do... No, there's actually three things we can do. There has been a new video about Command & Conquer lore. Um, released by No Strings PRD, which is about Cabal. If you guys want to watch that with me, we could do that. Second. Two lovely gentlemen from my community made a new minigame for us. But I'm going to need 8 players for that, so we could play that as well, it's going to be pretty good, it needs some testing, but I think people are going to love that. Or, we could just play and chill with some live games. It's up to you, I don't mind anything, I'm good with everything. Also, what kind of minigame? I call this one V2 Pong. You know what? Fuck it. I'll leave it open for a while. Shit. Give me a sec. We should do that on my uh, on my server. That should be cool. Wait, wait, wait. It's a cool mini game, man. Should be good. All right, never mind. It's taking too long. Um, where's our little host easy? There we are. Host easy with the best servers. Thank you. What? What the? What the fuck? It doesn't work. Is it not is it not on the resource center yet? I need to check that out. It is. What? Hold on. Let me just quickly fix this shit. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I fixed it. I deleted the buggy versions. Ah, um, I had a feeling. But yeah, Pink Todd is one of those guys who made it possible, who I requested um, to try and make this happen for me. Oh, the bug is there as well. Um, I'll notify bug if he wants to join or not. Where is it? Where is it?
<laughs> this, is pretty, this is pretty much it, but yeah. I had this idea in mind, but uh, man, I, I, I don't know how to do this shit. Wait, who the fuck is that? Ah, uh, I'm a well-respected community member. Yes, 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 yes. I'll, I'll just be H, I guess. Don't think it really matters. 